Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. So right away I'm just going to switch to the full view, unpause, and just jump right back into it. So in this series we're, we're going from Earth to Mars, and in the last video we, we, I think we came in, we came down from orbit, and we're trying, we're trying to get over to Olympus, and the real problem with a Mars landing is the, the atmosphere it's thick enough that you have to deal with it. You can't just ignore it. But it's also so thin that it doesn't provide a ton of braking like we would like. So, let me put in just a bit of more trim here. So it's a bit tricky to find this balance um, where you come down into the atmosphere and you know you begin uh, using the atmosphere to slow you down and you don't want to do it too soon because then you'll 5, you'll stall and hit the ground before you ever get a chance to make it over to the landing pad but you can't do it too late because if you do it too late that you'll blow past the landing pad and probably hit the ground on the other side before you ever get a chance to turn around and come back. Um, obviously, you know, this isn't how landings are done on Mars. Uh, all the ones I know of are, you know, they've, they've always done parachutes, they've done those retro, uh, like retro rockets that drop things down from cranes, they've done big bouncy balls. So this type of landing based on current techniques is, you know, is pretty invalid, but, um, you know, but I, I, but this is, you know, this is what we have. So anyway, so we're just continuing on. Um, I guess one good thing is that I am now down to almost 900 meters a second. So I won't have to bleed off as much horizontal speed as I thought. Bad news. I'm still 500 kilometers out, and I'm getting really close to the ground, so I might have to engage hover just to stay aloft, which will just eat up our fuel. 4, 000, 4, 000. So, and I'm getting pretty nervous on my altitude here, so uh, I'm going to open up the hover doors at least, and that immediately messes with your you know your like aerodynamics basically 3000 so I'm putting in a bit of hover so we don't hit the ground and ruin our mission yet 2000 and I don't know how how quickly this is going to eat through my hover or eat through my fuel I should say So I have to get over this hill. Good thing we are coming in during the day so I don't slam into the side of a mountain. Do I need the APU running? I don't think I do. I am burning through my fuel so fast. What little fuel I have. 400 kilometers out. Boy. I guess one thing I could do... I'm, I'm, I guess at some point... It, it, to save the mission... I have two options, I guess, two two basic options. I can just land wherever. Option number one, you know, miss the base and just land wherever. Option number two is um, give myself fuel once I break a certain threshold. You know, like right now I've got 1.29k. If, let's say, I get down to, I don't know, 500, and if it doesn't look like it's going to happen, I can give myself fuel at that point. So, I don't know. 
I feel like I started, uh, I, I bled off too much velocity too soon. Because um, I'm, you know, just burning through my gas now just to stay aloft. That's really cool. Could land in this crater. Well, actually we can't because we're still moving at 700 meters a second. So, I mean, I could use the f some main engine to get going faster, but that seems counterproductive. All right, a little bit more hover, just to make sure we stay up above the horizon. Um, all right, let me do a little bit of time warp. So I guess the only... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, because we're coming up to a hill again. Uh, yeah, as long as the velocity vector is above the horizon, I'm good. So 300 kilometers to go. Um, let me see here. My off-base distance is going up, though. Okay, taken care of. Um, I was going to say... Oh my gosh, look at that fuel burn. Yeesh. I don't think we're going to make it. Not with that fuel, so... Alright, I'm gonna. I think I'm going to go for the fuel cheat. I think I would rather go to the landing pad than land at some random no spot. take out a bit of trim two hundred and sixty five alright I'm calling it um, we're gonna Main fuel low. we're gonna give ourselves some fuel just to hopefully save the mission uh, fuel propellant and a bit more on the hover That should do it. Oh, what a hack. But I think we'll be okay now. What a what a complete hack. <laughs> so let's move forward a little faster. So we're 220 kilometers out. All right, back to real time, off base distance. Let's get the ship straightened out here. bit more on the hover. And so I guess, again, the good news is that since I'm slowed down quite a bit when I put this in for a thousand, I won't need as much distance as I had originally put in, which was 93 kilometers, I think. Oh, speaking of, I need to, I need to recheck that because we're getting near uh, that point where all right uh, APU retro and instead of a thousand let's say it's gonna be oh crap wrong button let's say it's gonna be 625 say so we will need 41 kilometers to get rid of that where are we at? We're 140 kilometers out from the base. So we're not too far away. We're at, are, are we really at 23 kilometers in altitude? How did that happen? We've never been climbing. I guess maybe we just came down off of a huge mountain. Yeah, I think that's what happened. So that being the case, let's get rid of the hover for now at least, but we will need to keep an eye on that vertical speed. All right, we're 117 kilometers out. I 
think that's the base. Alright, so we need 41 kilometers to eliminate 625. I think we're going to need hover. We're going to slam the ground if we don't. Alright, let's actually go to VOR VTOL now. So we're 87 kilometers out. We need to increase that number to 700. So we need 51 kilometers to break. Alright, braking burns coming up pretty soon. Make sure retro doors are open. Retro doors are open. Um, Make sure our vertical speed's under control. I would say it's not exactly under control. All right, we need 52 kilometers to brake. We're at 67. It's almost time to engage the full power of the retro engines. Yeah, that must be the base right there. Okay, and we need 52 kilometers, 59, 58, 57, 55. We need 52 kilometers and full power on the brake. And we'll switch to nav two shortly. APU running? I don't think I do. Let's switch to Nav 2 because that'll be coming online very soon. Let's take out some hover maybe? Yeah, let's take out some hover. Actually, we can take out all of it for the moment. Oh my god, what did I just press? Translation. 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 I'm not sure what I hit there. Check uh, vertical speed is okay. Why don't I have Nav 2 online yet? Did I mess up the. Uh... Translation, rotation. Oh, hold altitude. Information. APU running. All right, something's wrong here. I don't. We're we're where we need to be, but uh, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. Translation. But I I know I tuned in for nav two. Why don't I have that information? Translation. 
Translation, rotation. Translation. I don't I probably still won't even land with all this extra fuel I gave myself. Right now I'm just trying to get myself going in the direction of the base because I did manage to mess it up because I didn't have nav 2 selected and I still don't understand how that happened. All right now we're moving in the direction of the base. Okay, so while we're moving there and we're moving at okay speed, we have some fuel left. Let's bring up uh, the base information for Olympus. And how did I mess up the second signal? 129.7. Um, I guess I combined the first and the second pad. So that was dumb. Right, select pad. All right, now we have the pad selected. Um, what's our altitude? So let's not hold this altitude. Let's descend a bit. All right, we are moving toward the middle of the pad slowly. Uh, I guess now is as good of a time as any to put down the gear. I don't know. We're running out of gas. I think maybe we should move Three forward a little warning. faster. Main fuel low. System reset. A little bit more on the hover. Translation. Take out some hover. So now it's more or less a moon landing, just with more gravity and so little fuel that we might just drop out of the sky and slam the ground. You are cleared to land. I'm going to go hold altitude at this point so I can focus on getting over Rotation, translation. 600. Yikes. I need to move over there faster. Five hundred. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Oh my god, I left that I left it running the entire time. We're gonna overshoot. Huge mistake. That just cost us our life. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Auto land. Rotation. Translation. Hey, auto land, do your thing. All right, there it is. <laughs> it's 
No fuel left. Oh, come on, please land. <laughs> Twenty, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, ten, nine. Three. Just land. Warning. Nails down. Well, I mean, we landed. System I mean, we fell the last six meters or something, but we landed. How do you get this thing here without a fuel cheat? I, okay, I remember one thing that I could do was to launch the XR2 into orbit on the back of like the HCLV. That way you don't burn any fuel from the from the XR2 main tanks. That I'm thinking that has to be the only way you can get here without without. I mean the other thing maybe go to the ISS and refuel before you leave that that might work actually because from ground to orbit is uh, like 9000 delta v somewhere in that ballpark so i'm thinking i'm thinking the only way you would have enough fuel would yeah you'd either have to launch the XR2 on the back of the HCLV so you don't use any fuel from the main tanks that'll get you up to orbital velocity and then all you need is your you know 35 3700 um or 20 yeah 35 37 to go from earth to mars and then yeah that'll do it i think that'll do it or again you know go to the iss and refuel there well that was a learning experience um i hesitate to say if you liked this video hit the like button but you know it was an interesting landing if nothing else i mean we did use a fuel hack to get where we got and even then we just barely made it i would say they I, they survived falling a few meters i mean it would have been a very bumpy landing and probably would have you know messed up the vessel a little bit but nobody died <laughs> so with that uh that's going to end this series and yeah i will see you in the next video, if there is one.